Sup Shinobis, welcome to Banisher's Ghost of New Eden. I'm excited to play the game. It's from the same people that made Vampire. I love Vampire. Same people that made Life is Strange. Never played it. But, you know, I heard it was pretty good. What the hell is this? Telemetry? All right, let's get into it. Story, just for the narrative. Easy, normal, hard, very hard. Um, you know, middle of the road. Why not? Best of both, right? Now, I got no idea what's going to go on. I just saw, like, the stills, the preview things from the store. It looked interesting and caught my attention. And being from... Oh. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. We're a pirate. I dreamed of clouds. Great long fluffy bastards. Low over the sea. They gave my boy the same cut, pretty much. Oh, oh, oh. Off rip. I dreamed of the abyss. In the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. Alright, look. I'm all for opposites, right? Yin and yang. But why they got the black one thinking of the darkness? A huh? good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Welcome to America. Something is bothering you. Charles's letter. The that symbol on his hand seems so familiar. Uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Also, what kind of name is Red? Like. You could, you, there's billions of other names. You named your son Red. Or maybe that's just a nickname. Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Whoa. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say. And death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many entangled are the ties that bind. Zombies. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all. To haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. We got baited? Oh, nah, bro. If, okay, because I know there's like options like uh, vampire and stuff. Because the game is super long. And Vampire was this pretty lengthy. And I, I think it's because of that. You got the different routes and paths that you can go to. If we get the option to kill that bastard, we're doing it. He, I mean, I, an eye for an eye, right? Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it. I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. Rain. It's a 50 50 on whether that's a good sign or not. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. I like that he's Scottish. <gasps> We're playing as her. Okay, cool. She seems like the more interesting one because she's very poetic and stuff. Wait, is there motion blur? Oh, hell no. Let me take that shit off. This was freshly lit. Somebody was here. So, uh, We're in America, they said. Where in America? I just, I, I'm, I'm not the most uh, well-versed in uh, geography. I know where my house is. And that's about it. This seems like, I don't know, we're in the mountains and shit. Colorado, Colorado. But Colorado's in like the middle of the whole shit. Through. Watch out! Oh, is it just me or are we not welcome here? 
Yeah, no, Keep we going. should probably just head back I'll find home. A way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. Oh, he's an apprentice. Oh, and he's sleeping with the teacher. <gasps> the dead. I could beat you in my sleep. Oh, I did something. Holy wait. Oh, that's block. I thought I put like fire aspect on it. Like rubbing the torch and shit. Everything all right down there. I'm good, Just baby. Sneaky wanderer. You? Same. But I managed. Are these specters watching the road? Maybe. Oh, but wait. So this is a common thing. Town? Or are they keeping them in? Okay, I thought homeboy was leading us to death, but those things are like everywhere, I guess. So maybe she's just an expert on them and Red's just trying to learn about them. Well, it seems like you got it. You okay, Behind baby. You. Whoa, how do you do that? Hey, one of the rules of power. Never outshine the master. You got to teach me how to do that or else you're dead. Oh, that's what he did. Never mind. You're not dead, Red. Banish. So, uh, if we come back, do, that, do they spawn back in? Or is banishment just like a, oh, we've, I don't know, helped you find peace or something? Like that kind of thing. Something insidious walks the roads. Terrible spirits took us. New Eden is cursed. You who reads this now, I tell you, run. These people left New Eden town just a few days ago. What exactly oh, is going on here? just a few days. An alpha wanderer. Oh, oh, feck. Okay. Uh, banish? I'm too good. I'm so good. Red? I'm sure he's fine. Situation's worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. Well, he's probably going to tell us it's way worse than we actually seen it. Empty docks in a growing settlement. Not a very good sign. Wow. Is this Plymouth Rock? Maybe, because this is like back in time, right? I always thought it was weird when... stables I've ever seen. No ostler and no horses. Because they're probably dead. Burned their crops and ran out of food. And they probably ate the horses. Yeah, Ikea meatballs. Is that a monkey? Oh, no, that's a bag. But I've always thought it was weird. Like, a character picks up a collectible. Even if it's just like a dialogue piece, or not a dialogue, but you know, like a letter or a scrap piece of paper or whatever, and they don't say nothing. You know, they, they they read all that and they got no reaction to it. I'm stuck inside of red. Normally, this would be an okay thing, but um, oh, all right, yeah, no funny business. I right? you can't get inside of me until we're done. All right, we got shit to do. Business first pleasure later excuse me sir this is plymouth rock they got the pilgrim stuff going on where are the children several died of fever we could see disaster coming we thought we'd have to bury them all we sent the children to safety we sent them away they killed them he's that covering it up easy it can't be easy now no no it is not well Good day, murderer. Doomsday has come. Yes, it has. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm already getting into, like, the mood of it all and the feels. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Pour us a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is cold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. Excuse me? I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. Yeah, you racist bastard. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. God, Lee, look at that mustache, team. bro. This here is thick skinned Newsmith. We're the select. What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? He's dead. We're sorry for your loss. Yep, we'll do I what know we it. Can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. 
Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. All right, have a good night. Please. Accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. All right, man. Shit happens. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how we found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. I already don't like the feel of the town. Something going on that's not supposed to be going on. Let's see if the physicians are in on it. Could your physicians not save him? Would that we had a physician left. Okay, never mind. There's none in no town. Charles was dead when we found him. Oh, we do not okay. know how or why. One or two among our company have knowledge of the physic. Purples, they said. Rupture, strangery, or sadness. Guesses, all. As a man of science in New Eden, I stand alone. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Nah, uh, see, uh, the wife always knows something. You you can't just write that off just because you found him dead. She'll she'll tell you if he was acting weird or some things the were off and stuff. I she'll can know. Tell you that it has been she'll know something. She'll know something. For many long months now, and I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death, and death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. I mean, there's no snow and stuff, and I think you'll be fine. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes, our contract stands. For Charles. All right. For Charles. Yeah, I, I really don't like this dude, man. Uh, you're on my we what we need. watch list. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. What's up here, huh? Locked. Locked. This ain't. Yeah, there's something about old dude that I just don't it, just not sitting well those are cursed sea storms if only we'd been here earlier no oh, no but as Charles would say another day another soul to save true these people are idiots these people are helpless they're not idiots they're helpless these people have no idea what they're up against
Hello. You seem nice. Red. Come in. See, we could trust her because she was actually crying before we even showed up and she didn't even know that we were going to show up right now, you, you know? Come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now. But I can't imagine it's the same. Everything seemed normal there. What about the governor? He seemed a little off to team, me. The governor Haskell. Fairfax Haskell is well read and educated. But at times his back can be too stiff. Mm. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown. But his passion seems less than practical. He's an academic. Still... Good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin Newsmith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. She seems like captain it. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. Yeah, and you can't really blame the man if he's seen Is some shit, gone through some about? shit. Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. Okay, so not everybody turns into like a weird... Oh, wait, portrait. Oh, so you can see if somebody's just lying and shit. But it seems that you don't automatically turn into a zombie. You can still roam around and be like, okay. To understand why a ghost lingers in the... Oh, okay, so this is why ghosts come. So you must gather hints about each involved inhabitant. Once the hints have all been uncovered, the inhabitant's intent is disclosed. And you may complete your investigation. I see. Want everything to be perfect for our marriage, and I will make it so. I will write to you every day until that blessed moment when I can finally shed the weight of letters and tell you in person every day how I feel about you. All right. Well, seems like he was a good dude. It, 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 that's, you Where know, before the marriage. So maybe something yeah, happened before or during. Uh, sweet Esther, can't let you or can't tell you how much I long to get home. This work in the mystical Scottish Highlands is exciting. Can't argue with that, but I miss the sweetness of our home. However, I know that the few months I have left away from our loving arms will be 
of great benefit to me. Okay, so they, it does seem to be like a good, good couple. My sweet Esther, I was down and yet you were there to support me. You are an angel from heaven to help me in my dark mission. You are the light that guides me through the darkness of the invisible. Okay, so she seems like she was a good support too. Oh, from the neighbor. Well, they have nice neighbors. It brought them food and all that. Or brought her this food and all that. It's like he never left. Well, yeah, she's going to keep stuff around, man. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. Hmm. All right. I'm suspicious of some tomfoolery there. Okay, so he was trying to figure out if it was happening somewhere else because he contacted London and nothing came up. Charles is still here, and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him, and now he's back. A ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Yeah, that must be... Oh, quite the trip, man. Like, knowing... Oh, shit. That scared me. The fucking camera panned around. I thought something was gonna pop up. But knowing that your significant other is still around... As a ghost? Like, bro. Crazy. Uh, job 7, 13, 15. When I say my bed... Oh, this is a... Uh, what is it called? A Bible verse. Oh, it says it right there, you idiot. Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7. Verse Job? 13 to 15. Is that how you pronounce Job? Have that, we right? been pronouncing it wrong the whole time? No, no, on this side of the water and few on the other know that I came to New Eden as minister in order to pursue research into the new world on behalf of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole. And what strangeness have I found? There are ghosts here. Yes. Oh, then innumerable. Are these... Uh, oh, but I suspect there to be witches as well. Are these worlds connected to vampire? That'd be, that'd be fire. I'm not gonna lie. That'd be kind of sick. What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions? Foreshadowing? Is someone behind this? Who is the real target and what causes anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our heads. Sleep no longer offers rest and this cannot per, 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 dur, per Yeah, sure. Oh, this is about Esther. Uh, my dear sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell right from left. Cannot tell which day it is or how long ago my Charles departed. My world has come undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. I cannot attend the burial. The shame of it. How I have failed my dearest husband. I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died. Oh, is that the only reason he's there? Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. That it had a use for us. That we needed to fight it with all God's might. But now Charles is gone and my nightmares have changed. In my sleep, I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him. None respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. Okay, sorry we brought it up. Um, We're going to go to the we cemetery. We'll be back. I think be they right. just become ghosts, right? I doubt and then depending on if like, the bad emotions just start came here growing or have Charles a chance to grow, Charles they turn into those zombie ghost things. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Bye, baby. Okay, that's not that far. <gasps> There's a shop! Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Calm what is that supposed to be? What well, you got? You got leather, you got fur, you got linen, and you got wool. All right, well, uh, don't think we need any of that. Uh, is this what they call a ghost orb? Wisp. So close to town. Never mind a wisp. Cemetery is closed by order of the governor. Hmm. The guy knows something. I d there's something about him that is just. I don't need a dodge roll. <gasps> oh, you can parry. Oh, hold on, hold on. Do it, you bastard. Okay, that's very fast. I parried it. Oh, we too good. I I'll get the hang of it. Don't worry. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. As a banisher, you can feel places or objects that can or that have been marked by ghosts. When in close proximity, 
to these elements, your Bane rings will be triggered and light up orange. Oh shit, this is Charles. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. What the hell is this? There were like landmines or something. Performing a ritual consumes resources even if you select an incorrect ritual. So force a ghost or specter to appear. Force a scourge to appear. Reveal an echo. Oh, let's try what that. I picked up earlier should suffice. In each stain hides a story. Did we do it? Oh, yes, we did. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place. You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself. Well, since you ask so politely. A witch. Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared. Be gone. You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. <gasps> so that's how he died. Oh! What the Damn fuck? It. That thing he faced. What was it? A witch. Oh, Charles Bible. And it's the Bible verse. <gasps> wow. Well, uh, this ties down with the essence of Charles' ghost. After a closure performed by Antia, the bond between the ghost and the world will be severed for good. Oh, so you have to find... Oh, okay, cool. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Whoa. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I know you're here. Ah, <sighs> friend. You know me, ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. Antea. Here. At last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. Sorry, what man. Happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake, and it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Well, he is, but just not with me right now. Yeah, wh a good question. Why, Why didn't you, you just wait for us? Help. The threat was rising, despair growing. There were so many dead, Antea. So much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time. Okay, so he felt like he needed to do something. All right, we're not gonna ask him if the or how the curse began because he don't know Before himself. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. Have we seen that. We that? not underestimate its power. We. I am dead, dearest Antea. 
But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Antea, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. Mm. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. So are they like vampires where they like can't enter and leave places? There's a lot of questions that I got. Well, okay. Nightmares are definitely not a myth. Why the hell would you even think to ask that? We've seen the repercussions of the nightmares. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused. As if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. We should probably figure out what it looks like because then we can probably do some googling. What did it look like? See if uh, anybody else has seen something similar. Don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as... Esther. <gasps> my dear Esther. I did not see its true face. But I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. Holy shit, bro. Okay, not a uh, story time after this. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No, I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Hell and yeah. The manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your Antea, soul. wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Well, no, okay, Please wait a don't minute. Ask me to do that. Yeah, I was gonna say this is not a good idea. And the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave. Please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antea, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Okay, we still did it. Okay, good. Because, to my understanding then, the ghosts are fine until they're... Charles Davenport. Bad emotions or just no like the negative Esther. emotions overtake them. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya gave him the care he needed. Yeah, because that was her, like, best friend. 
Pretty much. This is going to be a lovely conversation back to the home, huh? Where do you think he is now? Heaven. He's... I don't know. Okay, so my story time. When he was saying that he saw the ghost and it looked like Esther, I've had sleep paralysis one too many times. One time, and this was the last time that I had it. It was the worst one of them all. I seen something. And it looked like a very somebody that I was very close to. All I'm saying is, you know, maybe I, maybe she's hiding something. I'm sorry. I'll miss him dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. But maybe he just saw the ghost as Esther because the ghost said... I'm like your biggest fear, right? So maybe it's just feeding off of fear and then whenever it presents itself, it can change the way that it looks like. I, hold on. This is, this is kind of cozy. For a school, this is real cozy. What's that boing boing sound? What are you doing? We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you. Red McCraith. Ah, <gasps> she said it. But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man, full of love. Banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy. But it would have been right. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake. They steal life's essence from the living. Okay, this is all starting to make sense now. They don't always do it out of malice. Of the man. As banishers, we bring closure. The dead have no business with the living. That's a very harsh way to say it. We bring closure is a much better way of saying we that. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If you to. Oh my, yeah, this is the classic. So if I was a worm, would you, you love me? I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. Yeah, I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost. <laughs> with me. And then I kill you again. <laughs> That's funny. I would. Then I'd kill you again for dying before I do. Sometimes you scare me. I know. Do you think Charles was right? This thing in the meeting house could be a... What did he call it? A nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. How often do they have to do this too, man? This must weigh heavy on their consciousness and all that. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Oh. Oh. And Tia, she took her fire bean. She says I'm the reckless one. Oh, <gasps> we get to play as red. Holy shit. That's kind of sick. You like bounce back between them. That's fire. All right. Well. We'll leave it off here, a cliffhanger. Where's Antea? What did we just see? Because it definitely didn't look like Antea, I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm I'm so hyped for this. I, I love it. I love the scenery. I love the, the feel of this all. It, it's, it feels so good. It does really bring me back to, like, Vampire. That same kind of mood of, like, damn, I just want to talk to everybody. I want to figure out what's going on. 
become Batman. You know what I mean? The greatest detective and banisher the world has ever seen. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this episode though. If you did, go ahead and like the video, sub, click the bell icon, follow me on Twitter, let me see in the comments all that good stuff. Appreciate y'all. Much love and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.